Welcome to Binden. We landed at Phuket Airport, Guinyan. Previously, Phuket Airport was just a vacant lot. Lots of trees surrounded the airport. Now it looks completely different with many shops, restaurants, big streets, and cars. After the pandemic, family members around the world have set out to reunite with their loved ones. My family also went to Vietnam this year for the same reason. Our driver is the local taxi driver. My uncle knows him well, so we booked him for a three-day ride in Binden. Best to have a local driver to show us around. This month is the rice season in the Central Coast region. The summer autumn crop, or the egg crop, begins to sow from the end of April and is harvested at the end of September. It took about 40 minutes to get to my rain's parents' house from the airport. The first stop, we had dinner with my father's paternal extended family. My grandparents both passed away a long time ago. It's emotional to have a reunion dinner without them. These wonderful dishes were cooked and repaired by my auntie. We had stir-fried beef with Tonkin jasmine, Norton-style egg rolls, pork bologna, stir-fried green beans. Vietnamese stuffed bitter melon soup, egg meatloaf with pork, stir-fried seafood, rotisserie chicken, bánh hỏi with roasted pork, steamed whole fish, and delicious little cake or bánh ít lá gai in Vietnamese for dessert. Bánh ít is the land of bánh ít lá gai. Bánh ít lá gai is a wonderful blend between the sweetness of sugar, green beans, the spicy taste of ginger, glutinous rice, the bitter taste of ramy leaves, and the aroma of banana leaves. According to the people of Benin, the ingredients in this cake are not only delicious, but also nutritious for the body. They can prevent stomachache and relieve pain caused by bloating. Maybe you already know. One of the best known tale. Izzy said that in the past, there was a man who sold cakes made of glutinous rice flour, wrapped in banana slips, but had no name. Only one person said to buy it for her mother-in-law, so he named it Little Cake, or Filiopiety. It's not only a cake to eat, but also contains gratitude. Therefore, Ban It Laga is often used to offer in grandparents' anniversaries or gift for relatives. The second tale, an old story has is that in the sixth Hongwing period, the youngest princess Mei Hung learned to make a traditional cake like Lang Liu. However, she made it in a different way. King Hong praised it for being delicious and named this little cake. The word little is a meat street of little youngest, which was the cake of the youngest daughter. After dinner, we went to my mother's grandparents' house and stayed there for the rest of the trip. Morning tea time started around 6 a.m. My whole family gathered together to share thoughts. We listened to grandpa to teach about life. Grandpa tried on new clothes that my mom bought. Then we had our breakfast together. I would love to show you around my grandparents' house. The house was remodeled and fully furnished with many upgrades with the contribution of all families, especially the biggest contribution was from the first cousin.
there are some scooters that most Vietnamese people use to move around. It's so convenient. My rain parents love plants and flowers, so they planted them in the front yard. Most of them are bougainvillea. Most houses in this area have stairs going up because Mandan is located close to the sea. There are many big storms that will cause flooding, so the houses here are built higher than the route. This is the shrine room where my grandpa prays to the Buddha and our ancestors every night. This room is the living room. On this day, we celebrated grandpa's 95th birthday. My grandpa wanted a small party, so he only invited close relatives for two tables. We had bánh hỏi, mixed salad, steamed shrimp, stir-fried sweet, roasted pork, and shredded chicken. On the left is a traditional bed called phang in Vietnamese made up a large heavy wood used for sitting, gathering, and sleeping. The temperature was about 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was quite humid. I had to wear a small fan around my neck to keep cool. I bought it from Amazon, and it kept me from overheating during my trip in Vietnam. This is the backyard they used to get water from the well. My grandparents raised pigeons. The pigeon house is located along the path leading to the front yard. This is the place to have tea in the front garden to enjoy the lotus flowers and feel the cool air from the pond next door. Grandparents now use water from the water tank. It's convenient for heating hot and cold water and storing water when needed. This is the kitchen. They use gas for cooking. Next to the refrigerator is an old-fashioned pantry to keep food away from flights. The party started. My grandpa introduced each member. After the celebration, my brother and I went out to buy boba tea to cool off from the hot weather. To my surprise, I found this cute boba place. Google map will not work in the countryside. Around my grandparents' house, there were only rice fields. Now a lot of new houses, new buildings, new restaurants and parks are built around here. I guess people are tired of big cities and they want to live in the countryside.
To my surprise, another lion dance team visited my grandparents' house. They form a lion dance group to perform in different houses. They dress up as different characters for everyone to enjoy the show. Follow my next video to visit more places in Binden. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting experience in Vietnam.